Hi, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and mount all of our steppers onto our assembly pieces. So let's get started. Alright, so in this segment, we are going to go ahead and mount all of our stepper motors into their prospective pieces. We're going to start off with mounting our extruder stepper. It goes up in the right idler bracket. You take to mount your stepper motor with the plug facing out the bottom like this. Now, the Bond Tech only uses three screws to hold it in place. I did make provisions for a fourth. You can use a metric eight screw. Now, probably actually need to use like a metric six. I ended up taking a Dremel and just taking like one millimeter off the end of this thing. So I wanted to get as much thread in there as possible. Make sure it's held nice and tight. That helps hold it in place so I can configure everything else. Next thing I gotta do is put, I gotta put on their little hob gear. Now if you look at the little packet it comes in, it tells you which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way to put that. You want it to be the set screw at the top. And you want it to be just flush with whatever it is you're mounting it to. Should look something like that. I'll right, go ahead and drop our extruder on here now. And we'll put our three bolts that they provided in there. Duh. Helps if you use the right size Allen wrench. I keep forgetting that Bond Tech uses a screw that uses a two and a half millimeter Allen instead of the two millimeter. We've got it mounted in place. What's left needs to put a tensioning spring on there. And anybody who owns any of these may notice that that sticker is not the way it's normally faced. Well, I wanted it to be readable when it's mounted on the printer. So that takes care of mounting our printed solid LDO stepper on our rear idler for the extruder. Next, we're going to go ahead and mount our 5 to 1 geared down. Stepper for driving our belt. We're going to go ahead and mount our pulley on there first. We'll have to adjust these later, but for now. Now there are nice holes run through there. You'll need four more metric eight for metric three by eight millimeter screws for that.
Alright, and we've mounted our 5 to 1 belt drive stepper. Now you notice I've added a cooling fan fins on the back of this. I'm actually going to go ahead and mount a uh, Noctua cooling 20 mil or 40 millimeter cooling fan. This seems to get really hot driving the belt. I'm not sure why, but I've found that putting a cooling fan on it keeps the temperature way down. So well, I don't want to burn up the stepper. We're going to go ahead and mount a cooling fan on that. Next, we're going to mount one of our axis steppers. Again, we need to put the pulley on it. So we'll set the heights on these once we have all the belts installed and everything in place. For now, I'm just going to set them flush down against the stepper. And just snug these so we don't lose the set screws. Go ahead and mount it. So of course, so the so layers lot is standing upright. Again, four more metric three by eight millimeter screws on that. takes care of our right stepper mount and same thing with our left one here go ahead and put that on all the way down and mounts her layers a lot facing the right direction And there we've mounted our four stepper. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for updates. If you'd like to help support this build or our future projects, there is a PayPal me link and an Amazon wishlist link in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.